the guy doing all of the obvious bribing of Clarence Thomas, Harlan Crow, uh, he has responded uh, to uh, the allegations made by uh, ProPublica. He says that he'd extended quote hospitality to the Thomases quote over the years, but said that Thomas never asked for any of it. And it was quote no different from the hospitality we've extended to our many other dear friends. That is either as all statements are a lie or the truth. I'm leaning towards lie, but if it is the truth, think about what Harlan Co is revealing there. Oh no, when I give exclusive use to my super yacht to a Supreme Court justice, that's like all of my other interactions with my other friends who are in their own way as powerful and well connected as a Supreme Court justice. So what he is describing there, if he's being honest, is a completely busted corrupt system, but he's probably also lying. You'll notice he says over the years. He's not providing any additional detail to this story that ProPublica didn't find. He's only confirming that they are generally true. Are there other trips that they haven't profiled? Are there other gifts that they haven't profiled? Harlan Crow isn't saying. He also said, by the way, that he and his wife have never discussed a pending or lower court case with Thomas. Quote, we have never sought to influence Justice Thomas on any legal or political issue. And I find that to be an interesting claim. I would love to have the mental malleability that I could twist my lobes into believing that that's true. But I wanna put forward a few inconvenient facts first. And then we see if you can accept what Harlan Crow was saying there. So bear in mind, in 2011, Politico revealed that Crow had given half a million dollars to a Tea Party group founded by Ginny Thomas, the wife of Clarence Thomas which also paid her a $120,000 salary. So <laughs> more money than the vast, vast, vast majority of nonprofits will ever get across multiple decades of operating were given to the wife of the Supreme Court Justice in one fell swoop. She becomes you know, independently quite well off as a result of that. He once gave Clarence Thomas a Bible owned by Frederick Douglass that was worth $19,000. And also, this is a specific stuff that he's doing, but you need to also understand who Harlan Crow is. He is described by ProPublica as an influential figure in pro business conservative politics. He has spent millions of dollars on ideological efforts to shape the law and the judiciary, including donations to the Federalist Society and millions of dollars to other groups dedicated to what they call tort reform and conservative jurisprudence. And so now let's see if we can get to where Harlan Crow wants us to be. This is a guy who for literally decades has done everything he can and given everything he can to influence the judiciary to move in a right pro business direction. But when he has a justice at his private all male retreat, they don't talk shop. He'll do anything, donate millions to these groups. But when he has Clarence Thomas, I mean, they're not gonna sully a good time with talk about pending legislation or anything. If you wanna believe that, you go right ahead and believe that. That, I think to a reasonable person, sounds like the craziest thing they've ever heard. Was what do you think? I mean, nobody's gonna think that this isn't what it is. Um, I think we, we tend to underestimate the citizenry and their general understanding of how politics work. I mean, by we, I mean people like us, John, people who are sort of in the muck of this stuff on a day to day. Anybody can read this story and, and understand that this is, this is classic. This is textbook corruption. <laughs> this isn't, you know, you gotta dig beneath the surface. This would make for a horrible conspiracy thriller. Mm. This is just textbook pay for play corruption. This is all this is. I think the question is whether people think this is just what the system is. Um, this is normal. This is how it's supposed to operate. This is how it's designed to operate. That's what the question is for me. I wonder how upset people will actually be about this. I think there used to be a time where the Supreme Court actually cared about the court of public opinion, where they were actually felt a bit insecure in their standing and their legitimacy. I wonder if that's still the case. Like in a normal, a normal operating system, this guy would be quitting today. By the end of day, he would have handed in his papers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and by the way, even today, if it was Sotomayor was going on a super yacht with George Soros, 
<laughs> trying to figure out, would they have an issue with that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll return to it at some point. Um, but no, they're they're not. They're the politicians are not going to have literally any problem with this. What we just described, that relationship between an incredibly wealthy mega donor and a Supreme Court justice is exactly what our politics is supposed to be from their point of view. It's their club, they're in that club or they hope to become to get into that club by doing the bidding of that club. Um, and the rest of you uh, are supposed to, I don't know, suffer and die, it doesn't matter. We'll occasionally do a story about M&Ms and whether they're sexy enough. That's what American politics is supposed to be. Clarence Thomas, just didn't do a good enough job, I guess, of hiding it, that some of his flight records were able to be tracked down and everything. <laughs>